In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Tala Derwith for the Black Series 6 inch line. Just got her a couple days ago on clearance. Uh, she's an action figure I've been holding out for well, over a year now at this point. I knew eventually she'd probably go on a sale or clearance and I ended up getting her for only $15. I do hope to get multiples of her at some point. Um, I was hoping to be able to use the base for her to make like a custom Nadesi Dala here or maybe a... Uh, Yusain Nazard, I would really like to make a Black Series scale uh, Yusain Nazard there. And maybe Juno Eclipse. Who knows if Hasbro will actually get to them at some point. But she is the first uh, female Imperial officer we've gotten in the Black Series scale. And she turned out really nice. I don't know a whole lot about her character and at this point I don't think there's a whole lot out there. She is in the Obi-Wan series and I know she ends up... Uh, basically becoming a traitor or a turncoat and uh, helping out Obi-Wan escape through some uh, underground channels or something like that. And she does reference uh, Quinlan Voss at some point, I think, where uh, they helped him escape, so perhaps we'll see some more stories with uh, Quinlan at some point and maybe she'll make a return. Uh, to be honest, I haven't seen enough of the Obi-Wan series to know exactly what happens to her in the end. I forget if she... Uh, ends up kicking the bucket or not. Uh, but regardless, you know, I mentioned this in the Hera video I did previously, even if you don't know a whole lot about the character, it's nice to be able to just make your own origin stories for these action figures and make up your own uh, character story for them instead. A pretty basic action figure. Not a whole lot I can say about it. I think that rink badge there is, um, well, for a captain or a lieutenant. I forget what a rink is specifically. Uh, that is one thing if I wanted to make customs of. Maybe Izzard, I could get away with it, but for like Dala and, well, uh, Juno Eclipse is a captain. So if I wanted to make a Dala, I would have to do a custom rink badge there. You could probably borrow one from like uh, Thrawn or maybe even Tarkin. I would have to go back and check my Black Series Tarkin. Anyway, here's the package. This was still during the windowless phase. Should be at the very end of that here really soon. Tala Durwith, Imperial Officer, Star Wars Obi-Wan. And a uh, nice image of her there. image of the action figure there and just a very de generic uh, description number 13 you get quite a few action figures from this old one series and her height there see she's about yeah 5.7 inches So I don't think her cap is removable. I, it doesn't look like it's removable and I've tried uh, putting some pressure on it to see if it'll pop off, but it looks like it's just part of her uh, head sculpt. Kind of unfortunate, it would have been nice if she had a removable cap. great for uh, custom figures. Face sculpt looks pretty good. I think it looks uh, faithful to the character. Overall everything looks good. She does have the cylinders on the sides here. And black gloves. Kind of glad they did the gloved hands. I think the Imperial officers look a little more complete when they have that. We know on the three and three quarter inch figures here, uh, it would be 
gloved hands for the actual palm, but then back of their hands be totally a flesh color. And it's the same way with Izzard here too. I think this custom Dala, no, Dala has totally gloved hands. She's borrowing the Dina Sean body, I think. While uh, Juno and Izzard are sharing the exact same mold or tooling. Inner belt here. The rest of the tunic. And the holster here. And one accessory is just a standard Imperial blaster pistol. Let's see how this fits in the holster there. You have the scope sitting on the outside, I think. Yeah. It's about the most you're really going to get out of it. It is a tight fit. It does stay in her hand pretty good. And uh, basically her cavalry style pants here. Very nice. And she is super articulated. She does have the ball joint at the head. And, uh, hinge at the shoulders. She feels very fluid. Very nice. A lot of hinged elbows, which go ever so slightly past 90 degrees. It might be like a 92 degree angle. Uh, hinged wrists, and joint the torso, hinged hips. She does have the swivel thigh, then uh, the hinged knees without the pins, which is nice. Then the uh, rocker ankles. So I'm pretty sure this is all due tooling. Surprised Hasbro hasn't done any more uh, female Imperial officers up until now. This is going on what, maybe close to a two year old action figure, maybe a year and a half. And you think at some point we would have got all three of these characters by now. But anyways, that's pretty much all I can tell you about Tala here. Glad to finally add her to the collection. Would I recommend her for yours? I would. Uh, just hold out for a deal for her though. I don't think she's one that's going to be selling through really fast. Like I said, I only paid $15 for her. You could probably find her for about that price or maybe even less if you look in the right places. Um, she is the very first female peer officer we've gotten in the Black Series. I hope we get some more. There's lots of great characters we need. Uh, and then besides these three, we can even get several others like Dina Sean, and I'm sure there's plenty of others. I think uh, that one in the, in the white uniform from the Andor show, I think she's getting a Black Series action figure here soon. So I imagine she'll be reutilizing the body of Tala here. Hopefully that's just the beginnings of a whole bunch more in the future. And we need some more uh, female Imperial officers in the Vintage Collection as well. All three of these characters deserve their own TVC release. Izzard and Dala have been around for long enough now where they definitely would fit with the Vintage style. Going on 30 plus years now at this point. And Juno as well. Since we have Star Killer, definitely needed Juno. But anyways, that concludes this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for plenty more reviews in the future. There'll always be more to come. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
I always appreciate all your support and check out some of the links in the description if you haven't done so already. As always, thanks for watching.